Yeah, the color of money is my my only like you know that's all. Kind I know of. About. There's there's moments in that movie where it's kind of maybe a little bit accurate. Not it's totally, just a great movie, but yeah. it's like but it's like sometimes they don't get the they don't nail the verisimilitude. Well, they nailed it with. Do you ever see when Tom Cruise pull up the scene? Tom Cruise plays Grady Stevens in The Color of Money. Oh hell yeah. I don't remember that one off the top of my This head, is but, why yeah. this is important. Okay. The guy he's playing is really the best player in the world at the time. That's the it. guy he's playing is Keith McCready. They call him the Earthquake. Fuck yeah, dude. Keith McCready. Whoo. When he was young, dude, he w he made people quit pool. <laughs> guys would just lose fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars to him. He was a an assassin. God damn. Just an assassin out of California. Damn. And he played out of hard times billiards. And this motherfucker was like legendary through the whole country for gambling. Like, and the way he played, he played with a sidearm stroke because hmm. he learned how to play pool when he was so small he couldn't reach the table. <laughs> so he couldn't dangle his cue in a normal way. He had to do and his sidearm. And he side just kept arm, it going his whole life. And he kept life. it that way his whole career. Damn. See if you can find that scene. Tom Cruise plays Grady Stevens. So he plays this character in this movie who's the number one pool player in the world. Okay. What's interesting about it is he, like, he legitimately was. So when you watch him shoot the ball and move the ball around, that's what like an elite – top of the food chain assassin for money pool player looks like that's sick because that's what keith mccready was he was yeah. a, a, an assassin for money like guys would bet like shit tons of money and he'd be talking shit to you while screwing his cue together yeah, yeah, and like yeah. the stuff that he said in the movie was like stuff that he really would say to guys do those There's guys get stiffed and shit like do i, I mean like because if yeah. you're a good pool player you're not necessarily they get can robbed kick someone's ass. Yeah, show yeah, up with yeah. guns it <laughs> yeah, happens all yeah, the time yeah, yeah. so this is that's keith mccready oh wow that's the earthquake so this that's is awesome. him give me some volume on this so when you watch him play that's how a, a really truly elite pool player looks like the difference Just between the, the control table. but it's also the control that he has of the cue ball is like he can put that ball within a couple of inches anywhere he wants all yeah. over the table he was a, a wizard and so when you're watching him do this in this movie it's 100 percent <laughs> like he, it would be if he was really playing you just fucking shitting on him just Look talking shit and, and getting and your ass fucked, the there's nothing idea you can do about it. Is that Tom Cruise has to play badly because he's playing Grady Stevens, so he has to lose so that the odds on him will be very low when he goes to a tournament because the word will get out that Grady robbed him. Right. So he's right, gonna dump right, this money right. to Grady, which is all the shit that people really did. Yeah, yeah. But, but then it's he gets killing mad. him. It's killing him inside. Yeah. Because Grady's talking too much shit. Yeah. And oh, so eventually love. Tom Cruise decides that he's gonna talk shit back. Yeah, I mean th what I love about it. Okay, this is the difference. This is when they're at the big tournament. What I love about this movie, too, is, like, I had no idea about all the fucking actual pool shit, but it's, like, it's such an interesting movie from just a fucking film perspective because it's, like... Scorsese. Scorsese, when he's just, like, fuck it, I'll be a hired gun. Like, that wasn't his passion project. He was just, like, I'm gonna make a fucking sick movie. Yeah. And then you have fucking Tom... You have Tom Cruise. You have fucking, um... Fuck. Um, Paul Newman. Paul Newman. And it's, like, this beautiful, like... Almost like passing of the torch. Yes. Like there, I love anytime like a career, the the guys in the movies. It really mirrors the characters. There's something yes. so fucking awesome and poetic about right, that. Right. The same points it's like in their Paul lives. Paul Newman yes. is the fucking old piece of ass. Yeah. Fucking star, and he's he's literally teaching as Tom Cruise is about to ascend. Yes. It's this fuck, and then you know Paul Newman would go on to have the whole his the later you know part where he plays great you know great roles. The fucking verdict rules. I don't remember if it was before or after this, but just like. I love that shit, dude. And yeah. it was like Tom, and just to see those guys just against each other for real as actors, mm. in, in the same way that their characters are going, and it's like all of that directed by Scorsese. It's just and it like, was all written by Walter Tevis, who was the same guy who wrote The Queen's Gambit. Oh wow! Holy fuck! I yeah, he also wrote the The Hustler, oh, the original yeah, Paul so Newman, great, Jackie Gleason. Great yeah. fucking movie. He wrote that, and he wrote The Color Money, and he wrote The Queen's Gambit. Yeah, that's sick. Which is amazing. Yeah, it had another thing that I really like, which is like a weird unofficial sequel thing where it's like it is a sequel but it's like no one except paul newman yeah is, like i love when they just yeah. they extend a story and it's mm -hmm. done because like the odds of that working are so fucking low right especially like, with a star you got to bring in a star like tom cruise yeah dude it's and, and they had to teach him how to play pool yeah so they yeah. brought in mike siegel to teach him how to play pools one oh. of the greatest pool players of all time and he's also left-handed the way tom cruise is which is like really benefited him huh. but he taught him how to play pool like 
I mean, a version, sure. not as good, of course, as Mike Siegel, but a version of the way Mike plays. Interesting. You can watch like Mike stroke, the way Mike moves balls around. And what's cool about like, I guess we didn't know that, or I wasn't alive, but it's like, you didn't know that it, it wasn't clear about Tom Cruise at the time, where it's like, wow, that's really impressive that he would learn how to play pool. And now the motherfucker's like jumping out of fucking jets. I know. <laughs> like, he's just, he's a fucking lunatic. Dude, it's you awesome. don't know how hard it is to look like you can play pool. Yeah. He looked like he could play pool. For sure. I mean, it really, you believed it. He, he hit a couple shots in the yes. movie where it's like that's fucking impressive he figured out how to play pool like pretty quickly which yeah. is kind of amazing fascinating guy yeah truly Dude, truly a fascinating what, guy believing in scientology seems to work for <laughs> yeah. him i'm not saying it's for everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's something about the way it worked for him for him dude and just how smart it was to go to do the mission impossible movies to kind of like his career kind of went to the next level in a strange way yeah, Ooh, look look at that shot. That's that's beautiful. Look at that shot. And he really did that shit. He really did that shit. That's awesome. He, you saw it. You saw it from the beginning to the end. Yeah. And he ran the table on certain racks. They yep. what they did is basically they set balls up for him and they they let him like have like fairly simple what you call connect the dots out. But he did he it. He still did it. It's yeah, not yeah. fucking easy to do, man. Yeah. That guy flies jets. He jumps off buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, Scientology seems to for work him. for him. 